Hey guys, hope everyone's doing really good. So I haven't done um, an energy shift, card pulling, reading, what have you, um, in quite a long time. And yesterday I was really feeling the show. Actually, it started like the night before yesterday. I was really starting to feel like a big shift happening. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. Let's see where this goes. And then yesterday it's like, I just, I really, really felt that shift cement for myself. And I was really loving that energy. I was really loving the sh the, um, uh, the like the feel of whatever the shift is. And by the by the time what like you know the night came, I was like you know I I have a feeling something shifted, like actually shifted planetarily speaking. So I looked and I was like oh, <laughs> Mars shifted into Virgo yesterday, and I was like oh that's so fascinating. Um, and so I just decided to do. Um, a quick little spread on that because I felt the shift so intensely and I feel like you guys probably felt it very intensely but it feels really good it feels really positive and my guides are like do it do it do it so I decided uh first uh video of the morning first video of the day is going to be an energy shift read okay I and like I said I haven't done one in a while and I kind of miss doing them and I just feel like it's right I just feel like it's right and something tells me there's going to be some uh nice little gems in there for a lot of you okay so keep in mind i'm reading the energy of the shift not necessarily um honing in on a specific sign or anything like that so the shift that happened was uh mars going into virgo okay mars going into virgo from leo and it is such a different kind of energy and i talked about this in the full moon aquarius video for anybody who's curious um how we're shifting from leo to virgo and what a harsh not harsh but like it's such a different energy. It's just such a different energy. It's like Leo is fire. It's fixed. It's the heart. It's drive. It's passion. And Virgo is that mutable, earthy. It's it it like you know you know actually Virgo is a very interesting sign. Let's talk about Virgo a little bit. Virgo is a very interesting sign because while Virgo can actually be somewhat fixed in their qualities, like if you really think about it, you know Virgos they always have a target in mind. They know how to roll with the punches. They know how to work with what they have. They know to ha they know how to work with what's given to them, but they have a, a fixed goal in mind on what they want. They know what they want. Virgos know what they want. That doesn't often change <laughs> for a Virgo. And when they decide that it's what they want, they can be very flexible in how they go about it because they know that like adaptability is key to success in a lot of situations, right? So in a way, it's like it's a little fixy because. Once they decide, they decide, and that's it. You know, it's like if you ever date a Virgo, they can, they're very loyal, like they're very, very awesome partners, but they can also be a little territorial because of that. It's almost very much like a fixed side. I just, I just realized that. But anyway, but that adaptability to get there and that focusing on the details in order to get there, right? So different from Leo energy. Um, yeah, it just, if I felt it, I really felt it. So let's go ahead and see what this energy is bringing in for us. Keep in mind, this could affect any asset of your life, any facet, not asset. <laughs> we'll start asset too. Any facet of your life, okay? And definitely check your charts to see, you know, your Mars placements um, and where Virgo might fall in your chart or spe uh, specifically your houses, okay, your houses, because this shift will affect um, any Virgo placements you have in your houses, okay? So for example, for example, like if Virgo rules your your 10th house, you'll really feel the shift in your workspace. If Virgo sits in your second house, you'll really feel this regarding like your perspective on money, how you're handling money, how you're looking at your expenses. Um, you know, if it's sitting in your uh, your seventh house, it's going to affect your relationship. It's going to affect your relationship. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Mm. Spirit, any messages you want to give about this shift? Anything we need to know about this shift of energy? It feels damn good, though. It does. It feels really good. Maybe that's because I don't have any fire in my chart. So maybe <laughs> so maybe my chart was like, oh, yeah, I, I need to be out. Maybe I was just like, I need to be out of Leo energy. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. But let's go ahead. It feels important, though. It feels important. I feel like it's actually helping a lot of you. I really feel like it's helping people with work. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. I really feel like it's helping people focus on like things they might not have been super focused on um, that they really need to focus on. Like, you know, the to-do list sort of stuff. Ooh, I like it. Page of Pentacles. I like that. This is taking on a new perspective. 
quite literally what a shift is about, right? Shifting your focus, but it's also about um, the tangible, that earthy energy, right? It is Virgo energy, that Mars shift into Virgo. Um, but taking the time to actually look at something, analyze something, study something. Some of you could actually have gone back to school or started studying different things or just starting new things you've been wanting to do, but you've been putting it off. But it feels like they're practical. Practical. Can't talk today. Uh, it feels like it's about the practical. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you're putting more loyalty onto your to-do list. Things you've been really been putting off, like not necessarily things that aren't fun, but you've just been having fun. <laughs> oh my. Okay, King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Oh my. Virgos, this is an interesting energy. I feel like some are actually um, taking a last look at something, taking a, a last look at someone they were dealing with, taking a, la a last look at how maybe they, about how you've been behaving, um, or taking a last look at a situation that you're deciding to shift your focus away from with this shift. And King of Cups in reverse, I just feel like it's emotional detachment, emotional withholding, unhealthy emotions unhealthy emotions, unhealthy reactions to things. You're shifting your focus away from that, away from someone like that, away from situations like that. If it's something that you've been exhibiting within yourself, you're, you're studying that to pull away from that, okay? Some of you, this is definitely a person though, that you're just like, hmm, mm, I'm looking this way now. Feels very much like that. All right, let's see here. Tell me more about this shift. me more about this shift yeah you're getting practical you're just getting practical feels very virgoly wow i like that high priestess in reverse piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader there's only three cards here guys just three cards for this shift look at that i really like that high priestess in reverse it's like having this shift of focus um on the practical things, the things that need to get done, the things that are really important to you, not necessarily the fun emotional things, but like the tangible practical things that you know you want for yourself. Um, focusing on that is actually giving you a lot of clarity about some stuff that you've been engaged in or people you've been dealing with that have this kind of energy. Okay, and that just doesn't serve anybody. Oh, Virgo, I almost called you just Virgos. Oh my God, see all that Virgo energy, it's a little intense. This is for everybody, it's not just for Virgos, but Virgos, you're highly affected by this shift. And I actually have no Virgo in my chart, so it's interesting. Ace of Pentacles is the overall energy. This is about stability. This is about your coins, your pentacles, your job, your work, your home, your hearth, your personal stability. Also, I'm getting a new start with this. Yeah. Oh, I like this, guys. I really like this. I really like this. This is all about new perspectives. New perspectives. You're no longer ignoring the things that need to get done, the tangible things that need to get done, the tangible things you need in your life for your structure and your stability. And you're taking the emotions out of it. Some of you feel like you've spent way too much time on emotions, like on the emotional things. Um, like maybe some of you are like, you know, I've had a lot of fun. Maybe it's time to get back down to business. Um, others, it's just like, wow, I've spent too much time in my heart space instead of like getting, yeah, instead of just getting shit done. And others, you spent too much time focusing on someone who wasn't giving you emotion, who wasn't giving you emotion, giving you uh, love, giving you that emotional nourishment. And you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> you're like, I don't need to be doing this. I don't need to be doing this. But it's giving you a whole lot of clarity. I like that. I really like that. Let's look at the page of pentacles. And then I'm not even interested in this energy, to be honest with you. So I'm going to break down this page of pentacles and then I'm going to break down this high priestess in reverse. But yeah, I'm not even interested in this king of cups in reverse. And I feel like I'm feeling that way because you're feeling that way. For those where this is a person, you're just like, yeah, I'm done. I've, I've given them time. I've given them effort. It's time to do that for the shit that really needs to get done. I like it. I like it, guys. And Virgos. <laughs> Sorry, that Virgo energy is really hella strong. Okay. What about the Page of Pentacles? Which, by the way, happy birthday, Leos, and early birthdays from my Virgos. Okay? Happy birthday. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for this shift. Yeah, I like... Sorry, they're drawing me back in. 
look at you holding what you want for yourself next of what's to come next i love that you're really really prioritizing a lot of us are prioritizing the stuff right now can i have a page of pentacles I'm not fucking around anymore can i have a page of pentacles for this shift some people are realizing that they've been like emotionally stifled or emotionally stifling some people are realizing that about themselves yeah some people are realizing that about themselves I don't think many people who are watching me, but because <laughs> people in the community tend to not do that. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. So that could be someone you're connecting with. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for the shift. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Yeah. Six of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be past life karmic soulmate energy. Yeah. Some of you are actually breaking karmic cycles is what I'm getting. Some of you are breaking karmic cycles with this perspective shift the shift of focus not to mention the full moon in aqua is also helping a lot of us do that right like emotional freedom breaking away from stuff that's not emotionally healthy or nourishing um yeah some of you are actually analyzing your past a little bit here too some of you are analyzing your past and really trying to like figure out what actually makes me happy what's actually going to make me happy from here on out what's actually going to make me feel good what's going to make me feel the butterflies what's actually healthy for me in the long term it's almost like you're thinking long haul like it's already your past it's really fascinating it's almost like some of you are coming up with like a one-year plan a five-year plan and then you're like okay well if by a year I'm here and by five years I'm here then that first year is going to be amazing you know it's like it's it's very long-term planning I like that though I like that guys all right tell me about the page of pentacles someone's also really missing you yeah, I'm like, it's so funny. I'm feeling the people who are really using this energy to their advantage, which I do feel like is a lot of my my viewers here. You're using this energy to your advantage to shift your focus in the right direction, right? But I feel like there are people around you that aren't doing that. Like, not everyone uses energy in the right way. People who are more aligned tend to use energy um, correctly, you know, most often. Very Yoda either way, I said that. Ignore that one. You know how I am, guys. First re first video of the day, I'm going to speak a little like Yoda. Um, but there's people around you that might not necessarily be aligned, and they're looking at you shift your focus, and it's like, where are they going? Why are they not focusing on me? Why are they not focusing on this anymore? You know, it's kind of making some people miss you. It's kind of making some people miss you. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Some people are questioning your loyalty. Whoa. So we got another card out here. The lovers, Gemini energy. Wow. Sorry, I'm just kind of taken aback. Uh, this is my divine soul connection card. So soulmate, twinsies, divine counterparts, whatever resonates with you. But it's more than that, guys. It's also a card about alignment for me, about aligning the masculine and feminine energies. Um, and like I said, for a lot of you, you're focusing on the right things and it is helping you align. It's helping you align. It's helping you to feel good. And it's, it's also helping you think of your long-term plan and what's going to be best for you. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You need to do that. We all need to do that. Um, however, people who around you who are not doing that are really, really missing you, really missing you, really missing you. Um, and for some of you, you do have one person in particular who's just like, I love my person. Where's my person? Wow. Yeah, some of you who might have been involved with someone who, again, was not giving to you emotionally, not emotionally nourishing, they're realizing that that's how they've been. With you shifting your focus, it almost like it gave them the space. It gave them the space to figure it out. You know, it's like when we don't put a, um, have our focus on something, our energy doesn't go, go there. Our energy does no longer stay in that situation or with those people. So when you take your focus away, you take your energy away. So this person, for those in that situation, because that's not for everybody, it's just something I'm picking up on. So for those in that situation, it's like, they're like, wait a minute, where'd their energy go? <laughs> where'd their energy go? And it starts to make someone think. It starts to make someone uh, have more space in their life to be more introspective or to have new come in, uh, whether that's new perspectives or new people or to just fill it with more crap. But this person is actually like thinking about it and like, holy shit. I think I really love my person. I think I really care about my person. Well, you're 
off doing the things you got to do for yourself. Wow, very interesting. Okay, let's see what else we have for this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, guys, just be wary. It's like, and that usually happens. It's like when people remove their energy and close that door, the people around them start to like get all these question marks. Where did they go? What's going on? And then more often than not, that actually brings people like chasing after you once you ran away, right? And I don't think you're running. You're just shifting your focus, but it has that same effect. Tell me about Page of Pentacles. All right. Wow. Yeah, now we have a Page of Swords. This is really interesting wow oh my god the page of swords so first of all like i said those of you who are shifting your focus because it's just you're putting your practical shit first the things you want to build for yourself like okay i've had my fun it's time to get serious right very virgo very mars and virgo which is exactly the shift that we're into um but that page of swords i do feel like you're actually this is interesting because page of swords is about communication but i feel a quietness about it I feel a quietness about it. Oh, okay. So as you shift your focus into the practical, into things that need to get done, some of you are delegating. Some of you are definitely delegating because you're more aligned. Some of you, some of you are actually so aligned that um, it's expanding your intuition. Page of Swords can also indicate that for me as a reader, for me as a reader. Um, but in this silence you're leaving behind you, it's like you're leaving a silence in your wake as you shift your focus onto the practical and the things that need to get done, people are feeling that that void. It's that void that you're leaving behind you. People are feeling that and it's making them turn their eyes closer on you. It's making them want to watch you and what you're doing and what's going on and what are they up to. Yeah, it's for it's almost making people want to watch you because the void you're leaving behind is like very loud. It's very loud, whether it's just an energetic void or you've actually just, again, just that shift of focus and in the physical void, it's a void. You're leaving a void in your wake because you're getting aligned. You're focusing on you. You're focusing on the shit that needs to get done. You've had your fun and now it's 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 no, no more playtime. No more playtime. No more fucking around. No more fucking around. But for those who have this person where, you know, where I feel like it's more of a romantic um, situation or again, it could just be people who weren't giving you um, their emotions or emotional nourishment. They're now watching you. They're now watching you and they're now missing you. Some are realizing how much they really love you. Overall energy, we have the chariot in reverse. Wow. Cancerian energy. Some of you are about to take some big leaps, but you haven't taken them yet because you're getting the practical shit done. You're, you're just creating that plan. You're just creating that plan, guys. And it's because you're shifting to the practical. And like I said, some of you are like the one-year plan, the five-year plan, and you're making your plan. You are in the process of making your plan before you leap, making your plan before you jump, okay? And then those for uh, where you have those pe these people watching you, shifting the focus, feeling that void, it's like, there. it's almost, how do I say this? You've left them confused. You've left them confused. Yeah, you've left them confused. They just, they just want to, they just don't know what's going on, but I feel like there's no really, there's no strong communication as to why you shifted your focus and for you it's almost like a matter of not even a why you just did you know what i mean you just you just did you just did or you just do it's like you followed your instincts you followed your instincts and you did what you feels right but it's not like you communicated it to anybody so it's like some people might see you as non-committal to them or some people might see that see you as not very loyal to them but it's not about that it's not about that. It's just the shift that needed to happen for you and the shift of focus that needed to happen for you. And those that are watching you are just so confused. Um, those that are watching you who are romantic partners, romantic interests, former lovers, what have you, um, people you might have just left behind, they want to come towards you, but they don't know how. Yeah, they want to come towards you, but they don't know how. Some are intimidated. Some are intimidated because it's just like, whoa, what happened over there? You know, really feeling your void. Um, let's look at this high priestess in reverse. I love that energy for some reason. I don't know why this energy is making me smile, but it's making me smile. So let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about this high priestess in reverse for the shift. Tell me about high priestess in reverse for the shift. 
Something's being revealed, man. Hell of a lot of clarity is coming in. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. 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 Priestess in reverse. <laughs> okay. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> what did I say, guys? The world. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn. It was Capricorn. Whole new cycle, man. Whole new cycle, whole new path, whole new chapter. Whole new chapter. What you guys, like I said, you guys are planning the next year, some the next five years. A whole cycle is usually like, what is it? Like, well, I guess it depends on what kind of cycle you're talking about. Um, but cycles like this, Saturn, how often does Saturn shift? Damn it, how often does Saturn shift? Is it nine? No. Nine? Shoot. No, it's shorter than that. It's shorter than that. Something about Saturn, guys. Something about Saturn. Uh, yeah, something about Saturn. I know Saturn goes direct relatively soon. I know Saturn goes direct relatively soon. Is it September? I feel like Saturn goes direct in September or October. I could be wrong about that, but something about Saturn's coming up here. But either way, either way. Sorry, I'm getting, getting lost in that energy. Um... You're planning so far ahead that you're already planning your next cycle, your next chapters. Like, what are the chapters of my life going to look like? Some of you are at that point where it's like, all right, I've lived up to this point in time. I probably have this much amount of time left. How much time do I want to dedicate to certain things? Like, some of you are really planning that far in advance. Not all of you, but some of you. Some of you definitely are. Um, someone's also realizing that you are about to start a whole new adventure, a whole new chapter. And I think that's why they're studying you so much because they're feeling that void that you're leaving behind in your wake, energetic wake, wake or physical wake. And they're like, oh shit, they're about to step off on a boat to a whole new land that I don't even know about. <laughs> it's like, you know, and I think it's making this person kind of nervous. Like for those really, that's the romantic interest. Either way, you're, you're just really taking charge of your life. This energy is helping you take charge of your life. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. 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 All right, so we got quite a few cards here. Oh, wow, very interesting. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy with the Page of Swords. And then we've got Ten of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, see, I feel like most of you guys are in this energy. Focusing on your foundation and what the foundation you want moving forward. Ten of Pentacles is a very long-standing foundation. It's decades. It's usually decades. It's years. At the very least, it's years. For most people, it's a decade-long kind of foundation, stability, financial stability, a career, a family, a house. That's what your focus is on. That's what you're watching. A lot of you are watching your money, watching your investments, because you want to make sure that you build what you actually want for yourself. You don't want to fumble. Some of you are really like, I'm tired of fumbling. I'm not going to fumble this time. I'm not going to fumble this time. And for those where you're leaving people in your wake, where it's just like they're feeling your void because they're not shifting their focus to what they need for themselves, to what they need to work on for themselves, what they need to build for themselves, what they want to build for themselves, they're watching you. They're watching you and they are feeling like they're losing something stable. Yeah. And, you know, it's actually very true for people who are aligned and who use these energies correctly. People who are aligned tend to bring stability to their relationships. They tend to bring stability towards other people. And once these people who are aligned leave situations, there's a sense of like instability, like a pillar has left, like a pillar has left. There's always a sense of that. Um, and people who are not aligned can't adjust to that very well sometimes. Okay, I'm, I'm not talking shit. I'm just, you know, I'm just being honest here. I'm just being honest. And in turn, they're watching you. In turn, turn, they're watching you, especially for those where this is a romantic interest that you know is like not cool with whatever shift you, you're going through right now. And then this Ten of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh my, I actually get a heartbreak 
with this, guys. I gotta be honest. I'm actually getting heartbreak. Some of you, part of the shift of focus is shifting from focusing on heartbreak to focusing on practical, right? Just like the energy that we were talking about initially already. But I also feel for a lot of you, this is energy around you, energy you're leaving behind, the energies of other people, the energies of other people who weren't emotionally nourishing, who are not giving to you emotionally, who are not being committed or loyal to you emotionally. They're feeling a little betrayed. But, you know, honestly, guys, everyone's in a different situation. They might be feeling betrayed, but is it really a true betrayal? Is it? I'm inclined to say no. Everyone's situation is different, but I'm inclined to say no. But that's how they're feeling. That's how they're feeling. And there is a little bit of ego wrapped up in this. Okay. Overall energy. We do have the two of wands. Aries energy. What did I say? Being on your path. Being on your path. What's your next step? You know. Ex yeah. See, guys, a lot of you are just planning your path and focusing on that shit. And you need to. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that because you want stability. You want that long term goal to be accomplished. And you're not going to falter. You're not going to fumble. Okay. And I love that. I freaking love that. Um, I'm actually going to use the shaman deck here to get any extra messages or any advice during this time. And then we're just going to go ahead and end the video. All right. But yeah, I like, I'm loving this shift. I'm really, really loving this shift for a lot of us. I feel like it's helping everyone. I feel like it's really helping a lot of people here. Any advice or extra messages for the collective regarding this spread and this energy shift? Any extra messages or advice for the collective regarding this spread and this energy shift? Yeah, a lot of you didn't say anything. A lot of you just went, <laughs> and you just, oh, 10, 10. Ah, that's cool. Um, yeah, a lot of you just went and just literally shifted your focus, and it was just natural. I don't even feel like you had to think about it. I felt like it was just, just a natural shift that really needs to happen. A lot of you are going to come to some major abundance, man. A lot of you are. If you can't maintain that focus, just be careful because, we, like I said, I said this in the Full Moon Aquarius video, um, Virgo energy is fantastic for stuff like this. It's fantastic for stuff like this if you keep using it correctly. If you fall into the shadowy side of that, just be cautious because I, it, you could easily burn yourself out. You could easily burn yourself out or come to a place where you stop progressing because you get caught up on all the details of, of needing everything to be perfect, okay? So just make sure you don't fall into the shadowy side of this energy. Any extra messages or advice for the collective regarding this spread and this energy shift? Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah, very nice, very nice. We have water, 61 breaking down to a seven, and the Andean cross with the energy of two. Andean cross, and sorry, I can't say that. Andean cross. <laughs> it was coming out so strange, like my mouth was not wanting to open. Um, it's addressing actually all the directions that are that are covered in shamanic practices, like north, south, east, west. They all have a different association uh, with different characteristics, different aspects of life, different aspects of spirituality. Water is exactly what that is, right? It's like water is emotions. It's it's creativity, it's intuition, it's it's being fluid, it's being adaptable. They're giving me adaptability. I think the advice here is really just to stay adaptable. And Virgo energy can be very adaptable until it gets into the shadowy side. So like I said, don't fall into that shadowy side, but be adaptable during this time. Allow your creative juices to flow to get the practical shit done, okay? And don't leave, leave any stone unturned is also what they're telling me. Don't leave any stone unturned. I just, I keep getting drawn to these directions, all aspects, all aspects, all aspects. Bring emotion, compassion, creativity, and adaptability to all aspects of whatever it is that you are wanting to focus on right here. Oh, to, to not go into the shadow. Okay, that's what it is, to not go into the shadow. So essentially stay balanced and have a balanced perspective on the practical stuff you're looking at. It's okay to fo uh, not focus on emotional stuff, but you kind of need a little bit of that to stay balanced, okay? So just find that right balance for you, stay grounded during this time. And if you're really, how do I say this? Fair? No, not fair. What's that word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not fair. 
if you cover all your bases, if you cover all your bases with whatever it is you're looking at, like spending equal, equal amounts of time, thank you, spending equal amounts of time on all aspects of whatever it is you're focusing on, you won't fall into that shadowy side. You won't. You won't. Any extra messages or advice for the collective regarding this spread? There's also some healing going on for some people. I don't think for you, actually. I think for people around you. Oh, wow. Okay, I just got a little download. So for some of you, you have been spending too much time around people who haven't been giving to you because you've been giving to them too much, okay? Because you've been giving to them too much to the point where they were becoming codependent on you and almost too reliant on your healing energy and you shifting your focus, removing your energy, creating that little void space is forcing them to do the healing that they got to do on their own. Let's see what we have here. Oh my God, the second I say that. The second I say that, we had four other cards come out here. All right. So we have the rattle, 43, breaking down to a seven. Soul retrieval. I freaking love this card, man. Um, it's a card of healing, essentially. And that's the healing I was picking up on. 49, breaking down to a four. The corn, energy of 10, cyclical energy. And then we end in the serpent. Oh, yum. 46 is a cyclical energy here. So you have a seven of four and two cyclical energies. And then you've got another seven over here with the energy of two. Okay, but this energy, this is interesting because I, like I said, I feel like it's not you, it's people around you. As you leave this space energetically, physically, what have you, shift your focus and you leave this void, causing people to miss you, causing people to wonder what the fuck is going on, <laughs> um, causing some other people to do their own healing, it's soul retrieval. It's causing people that you're leaving behind or shifting your focus away from to do their own healing. And the soul retrieval is a very specific kind of healing, guys. Soul retrieval is basically going over your traumas as, as far back as you can go, okay? Where you've lost pieces of yourself to get those pieces back. To basically put yourself back together to the person that you're supposed to be. The rattle is the call to do that. You are basically signaling the alarm for them as you're leaving for those who've been over giving to people, okay? And then the corn and the serpent. Mm. The corn's all about harvest. And we are coming into that harvest time where we can finally enjoy our abundance and enjoy our hard efforts. The serpent is very specific. It's kundalini energy, okay? It's kundalini energy. Um, for those who are in counterpart situations, this could very well be that, you know, your counterpart is finally doing the healing they're supposed to do and that's helping them to ascend. And then that will, that reward will be harvested when it needs to be at a, at a later time. I actually just heard much later at a much later, much, much, oh, much later time. Okay. But it's also about alignment. It's also about alignment and basically getting what you deserve Basically getting what you deserve because you put in the hard work. The corn, you don't get the corn unless you really put in the hard work into something. So those of you where you're shifting your focus, you're about to come into that harvest because you're putting in the work now. All right, let's see what else we got and then we will wrap this up. Any other messages or advice for the collective regarding the spread and the shift? Any other advice for the collective regarding the spread and the shift? see here all right so i got two other cards out here oh ho, ho, wow the heart of sky 24 breaking down to a six and taming the wind with the energy of 55 this is a card that's a little that's somewhat associated with tower energy not tower moments but tower energy change and transformation the heart of the sky is a manifestation energy it's a manifestation energy and it's also about cosmos being connected to galactic sources okay that's for me as a reader personally that's not super explicit for um this deck it's just something i've so come to associate it with in my readings um but yeah it's like it's very scorpionic energy and manifestation energy some of you are going into heavy manifestation energy those who have shifted their focus those of you who have shifted your focus not the people around you this is for you this is for you. It's And that's what I mean by tower energy. It's not like you're going through a tower moment, but you there's something about you that's changing. It's like you're changing the way you manifest. Thank you. That's what it is. You're changing the way you manifest. And it's also like a little mini ascension with all the ascension, you know, symptoms is kind of how this feels. You're leveling up. Those who are shifting your focus, you're leveling up and you're having an internal change 
Some of you who have that galactic background will be feeling this probably more so than others, and you'll know if you have that background. Um, I don't want to spend a whole video, this, you know, the rest of this video on that because we're already at 35 minutes, but really learning to control and self-master. Oh, that's interesting. Self-master. I And it's funny because I've been talking about this like the last month here and there on like Instagram and whatnot. Learning how to self-master to improve your manifestation efforts. And in a way, it's actually helping you to be even more aligned and more connected. Oh, I love that. I love that. Overall, we have magic. I love that we're ending on this card. This is the overall extra messages, advice, what have you. Um, magic, the energy of 33. This is literally believing in the esoteric, literally believing in the unbelievable, believing in magic, the esoteric, the etherical, the cosmos, the galaxy, the source, spirit, your own abilities, believing in yourself, believing in intuition and trusting everything that the universe is handing you and, le and learning that it's all happening the way it's supposed to happen. Yeah, some of you are actually reaching whole new levels of your own spirituality, your own practice, belief in yourself, confidence in yourself, and also new levels of manifestation. New levels of manifestation. This is beautiful, guys. I love it. And it's all because you're rolling with this energy of just shifting your focus. All this is literally just one shift of focus, which is really kind of powerful when you think about that. Just one shift. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. All right, guys. <laughs> this was cool. I'm glad I did this. I'm really glad I did this. I'm glad I listened to my guides and, and went ahead into this video. I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will be starting uh, Fire Signs today for the... Uh, the <laughs> brain fart, brain glitch, uh, for August 22nd to the 31st. And I will see you guys soon. Okay. Namaste.